what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Former rapper Bonnie Bangs from Houston is on her way to a federal prison to serve out a two-year sentence for human trafficking. She was on Fox 26 with Isaiah Carey, and Isaiah asked her what kind of human trafficking was she involved with. Were these people trying to gain employment? Were they uh, sex workers? She said that they were primarily people who had been deported from the U.S. to Mexico and was trying to find their way back to the U.S. to connect with their families. When she put it like that, nah, I can't really be mad. I mean, you know, people trying to get back to their families. I mean, I, it, it deported me, man. I can't say I wouldn't try. She said that she's trying to fight it, though, because she has asthma. She has stage four asthma. She said this is something that's been going on since she was a kid. She's been hospitalized several times. And, you know, she's had uh, bronchitis issues since she was uh, a kid. Uh, she's trying to get home confinement, but she says the judge who has her case is really hard and she ain't trying to hear none of that. So Isaiah asked her straight up, you know, how'd you get yourself involved in something like this? And she said, you know, when you are going through depression and you find yourself around, around the wrong people, uh, things like this can happen. And that's what happened to her, according to her. I can relate. I can relate. When you find yourself on hard times, if you're going through something, it is very important to have good people around you, people that are not going to try to take advantage of your crisis, you know, of that vulnerability. Because you got people out there, if they see you going through something, they will exploit it. If they see, oh, he on hard times, you know, he real, I can get him to do anything. She on hard times. Let me, let me coke her up a little bit more and then I'm gonna put her out there on that track, you know? Yeah, you got people out there that's like that. That act like they're your friend. And you thinking because they're giving you your fix, they're giving you something that you desire, that they're a friend. But really, they're just exploiting you. They're using you. And it's a sad, sad thing. That's really why I wanted to talk about this. It really wasn't about just a tell y'all that she's going to prison. What caught my attention was when she told Isaiah that when you're going through a depression and you find yourself in, around the wrong people, things like this can happen. So that is what this is all about right now. I wanted to just talk about that a little bit with y'all, you know? If you find yourself in a bad situation and you already got good people around you, you're gonna be able to recover a lot sooner. This is why it's important to surround yourself with good people. You know good people when you, when you, when you see them, when you meet them. Some of us got bad people around us right now. If we find ourselves in a bad situation, they are going to make that bad situation worse because they are going to exploit that bad situation. Bad people are not gonna to come to you and say, no, this ain't for you. You need to get right, you know? Misery loves company. So if you find yourself in a bad situation, they're gonna be like, man, take this package. If they are already doing it, they're gonna be like, man, take this package. But if you're around good people, you know, you're around people that are, and you know what, and let me back up a little bit. Sometimes good people do bad things. So I get that. Been there, done that. But there are some people who do bad things that will protect the people they love. 
and make sure that they don't drag their people into these bad things that they're involved in. You dig what I'm saying? They will protect their people. Find one that won't, and I would tell you to get from around that person because that is a selfish person. That's a person that's out for themselves. I know dudes that have dragged their own sons into dangerous situations. In fact, the dude Gregory McMichael out in Brunswick, Georgia, who killed Ahmaud uh, Arbery with his son. That's what he did with his son. He's one of the worst kind of fathers ever because he taught his son how to be a racist. And instead of him talking his son down or being an example to his son, let's say if his son wanted to go after dude, instead of him being an example, he encouraged it. His son drove the truck. He's on the back of the damn truck with a gun. His son is in the driver's seat with a shotgun. Something would click in a good father's head that this ain't right. Even if I wanted to get out like that, if I want to do something that could give me a whole bunch of time, I'm not taking my son along for the ride. Each generation is supposed to want better for the following generation, right? I mean, that's just the way it's supposed to be. That's what I thought. But that dude is one of the worst types. And I know dudes like that. They feel like if they're good enough to be nothing, then they would be jealous if their son tried to be something. Because they look at their son like it's competition. Like, nah, he ain't better than me. No better than me. I'm a criminal. I'm a thug. I'm a clown. You're going to be a criminal, you're going to be a thug, you're going to be a clown. And if you try to go out of bounds, then I'm going to make you feel real dirty. So, family, the message is surround yourself with good people. Because if you haven't experienced some hardship, it's coming. And when it does, you'll be able to get through it a whole lot better if you have good people around you. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? <laughs>